Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your weekly advice for the week starting October 3rd, 2016. And this is for Leo, Sun, Moon and Rising. You can watch your Moon and Rising sign readings for additional messages. Or of course if you're interested you can get a private reading specific to you and what you're experiencing. And the link to my website is in the description box below. For now try to take away the messages that do make sense to you in this general reading. Okay, so let's have a look at what is going on for you this week, Leo. Um, I see that you're definitely going to move away from troubled times, move away from drama, move away from negativity. It's the light at the end of the tunnel for some of you definitely this week. And it, it, it's definitely about, can't pick up the card, it's about uh, seeing that everything that happens is a blessing, even though um, as you go through it, it may not seem like it, okay? So your overall energy for the week is the Six of Swords, and the Six of Swords represents um, travel for some of you. It represents moving for others of you. Um, it is leaving a situation behind that has been difficult. Um, this is getting out of a, of a negative or toxic environment. Um, this is leaving a toxic relationship or friendship or work situation. The Six of Swords is definitely... Um, moving on, focusing on progress, focusing on better things in your life, um, and really ending a bad cycle, ending a bad situation in your life. Just walking away from it, focusing on yourself is what I'm picking up on with the Six of Swords. And you're not alone, so definitely if you feel like you are, just look around and ask for some help or talk to someone you trust because I feel that you will see you have support and people will help you with this. When it comes to career and finances, personal projects, studies, we have the Tower. So the Tower and the Six of Swords definitely can talk about some unexpected situations at work that just cause you to get up and say, you know what, I'm not okay with this and I, I quit my job. I don't want to do this anymore. For some of you, that's the kind of situation that uh, shows up. For others, this is about an argument, a very heated discussion at work, potentially with people making accusations or um, gossiping or trying to throw blame at you is what I'm picking up on with the Tower card. Um, and once again, just getting up and saying, this is not worth it, I quit. And with the Six of Swords, you're definitely doing the right thing because this is an unstable situation and you cannot work on it, you cannot fix it, okay? It's, it's too much and it's been, it's been trying to change and be over in your life for a while now, okay? Is what I'm picking up on with the Tower card for some of you. This is definitely changing jobs or unexpected job opportunities that are presented to you with the tower that kind of snap you out of whatever state of mind you were in when it comes to jobs um, and money. With the Six of Swords, you may have to travel for this opportunity or you're traveling to get more information about this opportunity because once again, it comes out of nowhere and you're not really sure what to do with it. Um, this can also represent a sudden opportunity for you to change jobs and you're just jumping for it because like I say, the environment that you're in is not the best. Um, this is also, it feels like unexpected opportunity for promotion, but I feel that it comes attached to a transfer. And so maybe you're changing the location of where you work, not necessarily the company. And once again, I feel like it's ultimately for the better. It's ultimately for your highest good. And I am seeing definitely improvements when it comes to your finances. Um, again, that come to you unexpectedly. And I feel that it's from people around you, from people who want to help you, who want to support you. So definitely talk to them. Um, when it comes to home and family, we have the Knight of Rods. And so the Knight of Rods with the Six of Swords definitely talks about moving for some of you. You could be moving because of a job. You could be moving because of your studies. You could be moving to just get yourself out of a bad situation. For some of you, this is you kind of moving out of the home. If you've been living with um, a negative partner or within a negative family situation or um, with you know, bad people as roommates or anything like that and you've had enough, if these people do a lot of drinking or, or um, you know, stuff that they're not supposed to do, I feel that you've had enough, you can't talk to them anymore and you're tired of that toxic um, environment. And that can be metaphorical or literal, you know, toxic environment. And I feel that you're moving, you're finally having, you're finally receiving the opportunity to move. You may have to live with family for a little bit until you get yourself settled 
in a different place, but you're definitely ready to go. You're ready to move away from that environment is what I'm picking up on for some of you. Um, further, this is definitely a move that happens to do with a job situation, whether the fact that you have changed your job or you've left your job and you have an opportunity that's in a different city. Um, or overseas, perhaps, for some of you, but I feel like you're definitely packing up and going this week is what I'm picking up on with the Knight of Rods. Or at least traveling to see family, okay, if you're not moving. When it comes to your emotional life and love life, we have the Queen of Pentacles. So with the Queen of Pentacles and the Six of Swords, it can be that this person is who you're moving away from, who you're trying to leave behind. Um, this would be an Earth sign, a Taurus, a Virgo, a Capricorn, Sun, Moon, a Rising sign, male or female, because um, it's a general reading. And if you are moving away from this person, I feel that it has become all about the ego, the reputation, the, the material side of things, the money. Um, this is also someone who's very controlling, who wants their way or the highway type of situation. And so you're definitely, you're definitely doing the right thing, moving away from this person. Um, for others of you, this is someone actually coming in to help you, and it's you know the opposite of um, what we discussed previously. This is someone who's very genuine, who's very caring, who's there to nurture you, who's there to help you, and it could be that this is the person helping you um, get yourself out of a toxic situation or a difficult situation with the Six of Swords. You know, you're, you're supported by someone, you're not alone in that boat. So for some of you, it can be this earth sign that is in the boat with you. Um, for those of you, what I feel with this is that this is someone new in your life that you're just meeting this week and you're really, really, um, you feel a connection with this person and with the Six of Swords, it's, it's almost like this is different than the usual type of person I go for or this is different than the usual type of relationship I've had in my life. It feels calmer, it feels easier, it feels more comfortable, more familiar. And so it's almost like you're starting a new relationship, definitely starting a new friendship that will develop into a relationship with this earth sign person um, or an air sign for some of you, Gemini, Leo, uh, Gemini Libra, not Leo, or Aquarius. Um, and just take your time, move, move slowly, you're still hurting, you're still healing from a situation. Um, but just take your time. This person will definitely not rush you. They will give you all the time you need. When it comes to your emotional life and love life, we do have the Three of Wands or the Three of Rods. With the Three of Rods and the Six of Swords, what I'm picking up on this is changes in your health and well-being. Trying new things is what I'm picking up on. Movement, definitely. So exercising, working out, running, swimming for some of you. Um, trying something from a different culture. So for some of you, I don't know, you could try something from um, the Japanese culture, like trying karate or uh, kung fu, that's from the Chinese culture, or uh, dancing, you know, like Latin dancing or anything like that. I feel like you're trying new things from different places, from different cultures, and that is going to uh, help you see a lot of progress, a lot of improvement uh, in your health situation and with your health and well-being. You could definitely... Um, turn your back on something. You can definitely walk away from a situation when it comes to your health and well-being. Um, choosing to focus on the positive, choosing to focus on the opportunities you have and moving towards the, those opportunities, acting upon those opportunities and seeing improvements in your health and well-being. This is definitely the light at the end of the tunnel with the Six of Swords. This is overcoming something, coming out of something um, and moving towards better times when it comes to your health and well-being. So overall, it looks like a really good week. Okay, remember blessings in disguise. They may not feel like blessings when you're dealing with them, but they truly are blessings, whatever's going on in your life at this time. So try to go with the flow. Do not fight the energy of change. Um, just embrace the blessings. Focus on positivity. Focus on peace, on harmony, and just keep moving in that direction. So thank you so much for being here. I hope that this makes sense, and I hope that it helps. Um, let me know how your week is going, definitely. I hope that you have a wonderful week, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care.